Hey guys, how's it going? And as we watch the moon set on this beautiful ocean view, I am here to say welcome to a brand new Minecraft Hardcore Questing Mod Pack, Terra Firma Craft Punk. I have been stood up here almost all night because it turns out that if I log in and out, the time of day on this server does not move. We are, of course, playing on Landstrider's server. That name might be recognisable to a few of you guys. He is, of course, the man who put together the post Finem mod pack that I've been playing recently uh, a couple of days ago well, about a week ago now he got hold of me and was like hey would you like to come and play with us on a server and I was like yes of course I would of course I would we are playing as I say terra firma punk this is a mod pack mainly based on terra firma craft now all I can say about that particular mod is it seems to be here solely to make the game more difficult uh, you need to pick up resources from the floor I can't do that while I'm being chased I think I'm just gonna carry on running over this way oh we got a little bit of napping underway but of course i have to watch out for oh he's gonna get me isn't he as you may or may not be able to tell uh the server seems to be across the atlantic ocean from me so we're gonna have a few uh few little lag issues as we try and figure out and uh, load new areas of map and stuff like that that. Uh, if you would like updates and such forth about what's going on this mod pack, ah, uh, Optifine broke my my fizzy water. Yeah, if you would like updates and such forth about what's going on with it, with me and this mod pack, uh, do join my Twitter at Twitty Ga uh, Twitchy Games. Twitty Games. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Oh, I recognise this from Landstrider's video. Oh man, are we like literally here? Okay, I'm not going to go that way because that's that's super scary. This is the uh, the Hobbit hole that they were hanging out in to begin with. Amazing. Maybe if we're super good, we can grab some clay from their house and things like that. Uh, first quest that I am on. Uh, let's come into here. As you can see, all the lives and stuff. Basic hardcore questing mod pack stuff. If you don't know what is going on here, where have you been? But basically, you remember how like hardcore gives you one life? Well, this has given us loads of lives and loads of quests to go through and do. And as you can see right now, what I'm trying to do is collect up 10 sticks and 10 stone, which should be relatively simple. Um, the area has been a little bit picked dry. Uh, there have been other people on the server before me. Uh, as I say, I got told last week, but missed the IP address being delivered to me, and uh, just just all sorts of things happened that made made me be a few days late here. Uh, so you can see we can collect sticks from smashing up leaves. You know, just kind of like how you do it in real life. I know, I know when I'm looking for sticks, the first thing I do is go and snap a green branch off. That's not at all what I do. I actually go and look around for the ones on the floor in real life because they burn better. Uh, now, where I've been hanging out overnight, I am super hungry. And I'm wondering if Landstrider would have left any food in his house. I really doubt it because food is precious in this game. Like, super precious. But I'm hoping as long as I can do this and go hang out in his house, we can complete the first few quests and get some of that super precious food. Oh, look, there's, like, clay and all sorts over there. Okay, I think what I'm going to do first, before we do any of that, open the questing book. Okay, and we have got an uncompleted quest, quest to claim. A un <laughs> unrewarded quest to claim. Okay, we're going to do that, grab that. The main reason we're doing that is so I can hide in this hole round here. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so nice to actually, like, be here in person. Not so sure about the holes in the roof, though. Maybe we'll do something about that did they bury it ah oh, I'm, I'm sorry about stealing your fish guys but man i need to eat there's a, a fire here did they oh we can't cook fish like that that is unfortunate what, what else can we eat i mean if push comes to shove i can eat this rotten flesh right no i'm not allowed to eat the rotten flesh there's not even any oh look ceramic vase I, I'm, I'm sure he'll let me off stealing this I am almost certain. This is some other guy. I'm presuming next is sort of one of the other uh, players that are joined up. I, I hear there are a few around. Okay, the first thing I was going to do. Sorry, I managed to completely sidetrack myself by uh, checking out everything that's going on. I think the first thing I need to do is make a full set of tools. Not just to have the full set of tools, because that is pretty cool. But also because that quest gives us some food. And man... I need food right now. Uh, as I say, I had to hang out on that place all night because every time I logged in and out of the server, time wouldn't advance. I mean, just can you imagine not being able to cheat by logging out during the night? 
it's it's disgusting. Uh, it's unplayable, really. <laughs> it's not really, but uh, it is for someone who has just started off. I really shouldn't be stealing this uh, this pot here. Actually, it's got some copper in it. That is nice, but I can find my own copper. I am sure. Okay, now before we starve to death, if we come in here, basic tools. I'm gonna have the tomato. It just seems like the one that's gonna give. Okay, so you saw that there, right? I, I will slowly demonstrate. Slowly demonstrate. I will sh show you again. If I shift click this up, you can actually combine different types of food. If you have a look, you can see that there is a mount on the fourth line down that tells us how much you can st store in one piece of food. But screw that because I gotta eat. I, I'm dying. I'm dying, man. And that's all the food that we got out of that. That's okay, though. That's okay. We can do something about that. What have we got here? Anything that's going to be useful for me? There are a few useful things here, but I think what we're going to do is just steal those for the sake of a quest because no one needs to deal with those eventually. Uh, no one needs to deal with those beyond this first quest. Uh, okay, what's the next thing we need to do is, of course, let's come out of here, making ourselves some basic weaponry and gathering tools. This stone knife is a dual-purpose tool. Uh, not only... Yeah, knife blades, like. Uh, not only does it allow me to protect myself, but it also allows me to gather stuff from the world around me. So you will find food out and about, and you can just take that food and stuff it in your face. Much like, um, I don't know, the ore berries from uh, Tinker's Construct, or, uh, I don't know, like... Like a bit of farmland, really. You'll find a bit of wheat kicking around. You can go and take the wheat off of that. But if you use the knife, you actually get the seed as well as the, the food, which I think is something that's worth uh, hanging on to. Okay, so we did those basic things there. I should be able to get some more basic food. I think I am going to go for the orange. Yeah, let's be a fruit eater today. Let's be a fruit eater today. I don't want to do that. That's the the only thing that annoys me about this shift clicking thing is I'm used to shift clicking things out of my hot bar or into my hot bar and it just didn't want to do it that day. Okay, what have we got? We've got our first copper shovel. Nice. Some granite and some small bismuthinite. Yes, that is how you pronounce that. You know what? These weird things, I'm just going to pop in there because I'm sure someone at some point could do with this starting equipment. Okay, the next thing on after making all this stuff, not only do I need some wood to make sure that I can survive the night, I also need to go out and get some clay. Oh man, this is so nice. Not, so I've played a few um, test games on my own because obviously this is a hard mod pack. Uh, those first few test games that I played, I was dead by the end of day two. Um, but thankfully I've, I've sorted out my game plan. I know what I'm doing here. So we can go around and do a, a few of these most basic of uh, tasks. Yeah, cool. Uh, and I know what we're doing here. Yeah. Okay, cool. So logs. I needed 20 of those logs, actually, didn't I? We've got six. That's no good. We should be able to replant. Oh, no, of course we can't replant. So one of the things that we have to bear in mind very strongly for this is that we don't get saplings from cutting down trees. You'll see nothing nothing falls down there. There's nothing like that. 14, that's pretty good. To get saplings, what you need to do is attack these um, leaves. Now, I do wonder if using the knife will give you more saplings. I don't know. Let's let's give it a quick test. See if we get any saplings. I, I don't think it makes any difference. Looking at what's going on here, I don't think it makes the slightest bit of difference. Okay, let's, let's do this and make our lives beautiful and good for ourselves by completing the next quest. 75% done. So Walia, the, the little what am I looking at tab, has moved itself down to my bottom right corner, which I kind of like actually. That That is an update that I am in favour of. Do we have 16, 17, 18? Oh man, it's still not quite enough. Just a little bit more pine would be great. Kind of decimating the local area. We could do something about making this not quite so bad, but I've got a feeling that's probably going to be something we do during the night. Speaking of, we have been recording for a little under 10 minutes now, so I've got to be aware that nighttime will be approaching again. It's uh, it's a scary time in this mod pack. Uh, there are. Oh, look, this is like uh, for panning gold and stuff like that. There are some very, very scary mods in this game. Why? Well, I just drink out of the uh, out of the lake like a peasant uh, mainly the twilight forest stuff so this mod pack has twilight forest kind of merged in with the real world uh, you may have seen the minotaur um mobs back at spawn they, they were causing me some hassle okay i definitely want to like grab the 
reward for this before problems start. I seem to have trouble opening my mod my book recently. There we go. Um, we are going to grab this reward bag. Why not? We've got all the, the things. Uh, what type of sapling? Pine sapling. So we can go and plant, plant it again. Probably could have done with getting uh, a different sapling, but I would like to uh, repair some of the damage that I have caused to this area. I'm sure someone at some other point will be coming through here and we'll have to deal with that. Okay, one thing I would like to do, you see this here, I think I'd like to seal this up if we can, just like that, perfect. There is a little bit of block lag on the go, isn't there? I do wonder whether that is my ping. I do. I did see my ping was over 100. Um, not, not ideal, obviously, but given that this is a mod pack where we can do all sorts of ranged weapons, like javelins in particular are the ones that I'm interested in, I should be able to keep the mobs at bay. Okay, so I've got all the golden rod that I needed. It was only five. Let's go and collect 20 clay. So this stuff here, believe it or not, is clay. I know, looks weird. Um, um, this is almost as important as the stone. Almost. Half the stuff you can make, you can make with stone. And, oh, I didn't even talk about the whole napping process. Um, you, you may have seen that when I was making the tools, I did it on a weird crafting grid. Uh, this is to simulate flint napping. It was how our ancient ancestors used to make all their tools. Uh, you can go on some pretty nifty little um, survival courses and stuff that will teach you how to take a, a lump of flint and turn it into a like a deadly stone axe. I'd probably do with getting a little bit more of this. Oh, and something I've completely forgotten about until right now. We need to go find some long grass. This is the thing that I'm going to be doing for the next five minutes or so, actually. Well, in fact, not even five minutes because the sun is sinking but I need to get as much of this thatch together as I can for it is important to do for tonight's activities. Oh man, tonight's activities are going to be active. So, yeah. Okay, I will come back when I've done all of this uh, collection of stones and grass and thatch and wood and all this sort of stuff. Oh, in fact... Me telling you what I was going to do between this cut has actually taken up the time that I would have taken for the cut. So let's just head back home and do some some little bit of chopping like this. Cool, everything is getting into my inventory. It's how I like it, you know? If everything could just get into my pocket as I cut it, that would be great. Oh, look, someone's been chopping stuff down here. That could have also been Lance Dryden now I think about it. I may have witnessed him smashing some stone to get some, some original stone. So, oh... Oh, that's not useful. Did you guys see that? I saw that. Right, javelin. Uh, I don't have my javelin on my hotbar. This is not going to be helpful. Let's just see if we can go in here like this. Ooh, there. Okay. I'm not sure how we're going to get out because we've not made that saw. Uh, I could probably break this bottom one here and put that there uh, and use that as a barrier to keep things out. Okay, I'm looking around. I know it's pitch black for you guys, but that's all good for me. <laughs> all good for me. We're going to hide in this corner. Did you guys see that little flash of colour back here? Maybe I'm going insane. Maybe I'm going insane. There, that as well. Did you... He's trying to charge through the floor at me. Yeah, he keeps trying to charge down and then he's been told, No, this is not the place for you. I'm going to cook that fish. I have to cook that fish. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, I forgot, of course, to make a fire starter. A twisted fire starter. Uh, and then we do that to light it up. Nice. Okay. Right. Let me just gather my thought process. We can't cook the raw fish in here, it turns out. That is crazy. Okay, I'm going to pop this back in here. The golden rod can also go in here. Look at all this stuff. There's some soul sand. There's, there is a lot of very tasty looking equipment here. Okay, reward bag is the next thing to do. We've got another stone axe. Kind of good. And an oak sapling. Not as good. It's got to be said. Got to be said. Okay, I think we need to start getting on with cooking... Oh, excuse me. Cooking up some basic equipment. Now, I was going to tell you all about this clay. Now, I've only got 25 bits of clay, which means I'm going to have to kind of ration what I'm doing here. The book calls for four of each of these items that I'm going to make, but I'm just going to make one of each, well, one crafting of each, so that we can cook them nicely at this point. So we do that to make this ceramic vessel. Now, this is kind of like, you know, in forestry and such forth, you have the uh, rucksacks. Is that the way this is done? I've got a feeling I've done this wrong. I can't remember how to do it. Yep, no, okay, we're going to have to look this up. So the vessels act kind of like an extra inventory within your inventory. So you can pop up to four items in 
the vessels. Not until you fired them, obviously. All right, this is the, the napping I wanted here. Okay, I always forget how this goes. So it's a, a little L in the corner, big L in that corner. Okay, we should be able to do that. I appear to be suffering some ill effects of something. So it's the big L here, little L here, and one of those. Jug. Okay, brilliant. What am I suffering the effects of? Food! Oh man, suffering the effects of food. So things like these unfired clays, we can pop in the bottom of holes like this. Uh, sorry for all the fart bubbles getting in our face. I really kind of hoping that wouldn't be a problem yet but I had as I say had to wait overnight so we've not really had chance to get out and do any serious food collection uh, these are bowls bowls are for making food oh look there's a little food surface here someone's even left a bowl for me oh that is amazing well anyway we need to make this stuff anyway so we put our clay items in the bottom and then we cover it with straw or hay or whatever it is you know dead grass that we collected we then need to pop some wood on top quite a bit of wood actually uh let's just carry on doing so if we could please hello no it doesn't seem to like to do it there we go ah a little bit of a lag spike meant i was uh placing down in the wrong spot okay so i remember what's going on now the server has been having um lag spikes and i've got to say in the single player, so was I. I was getting some mahoosive lag spikes that were stopping me doing things. But it appears that today, uh, I don't suffer the lag spikes, but the server does. So I'll have moments where I'm like, hey, I'm trying to do stuff. Hey, I'm trying to do stuff. Hey, I'm trying to do stuff. And it looks like that's when the server is sort of lagging up. Are they just by this door? I, I, I'm going to run out the door when I can. Uh, so it appears that the, the server is lagging up when I'm not actually feeling the effects, which is pretty terrible, actually. Pretty terrible. I get to claim a reward here. Um, strawberries, blueberries, or... Well, strawberries appear to have the biggest, like, selection, if you will. They look the biggest, so that will do, right? Uh, I don't know if cooked strawberries will do me more food, but every... Ooh, every mouthful seems to have done up a certain amount there. A, a sort of... a a bar if you will there's like one two three four five six bars of food there maybe those middle two look smaller than the than the outer two or the outer four man those meefs those loud they're not meefs minotaurs they drop meef uh they're they are loud and in my face okay so this pottery has seven hours remaining on it i think we're just gonna wind up for a little bit and i will be back hopefully without starving to death so with daylight starting to crack through the windows i think it's time to start talking about like what the format of this particular series is going to be now obviously those of you that have been with me for a little while know that i like to keep at least for these first few days you guys with me for as live a time as possible the these first few days are definitely the ones that are very important. I hope he doesn't come and just stand by the door. Uh, these first few days are the ones that are very important as to like dictate the way that the game is going to go. Uh, so yeah, I like to keep you guys with me as much as possible. Two hours remaining. Okay, so to complete this pottery quest, we need to make four ceramic vessels, four ceramic jugs, and two bowls. Now, obviously, we have a vessel, a jug, and two bowls in the uh, fire pit at the moment. So we need to make another three vessels, three jugs, and two bowls. Now, I've worked out that that is going to... Uh, cost us another 35 or 40 bits of clay i've got 15 on me so i think one of the first things we're going to do is try and make our escape out of there and shake that minotaur you see him up on my map there kind of being a bit of a bother now i've installed optifine to try and save me some frames on this and unfortunately the run key is now the zoom key i hope i'm kind of making you guys sick here so we need to try and rebind that at some point but until then oh no 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 that is not how we like it okay let's get in there and leave that for them uh i'm so sorry for whoever's house that is uh <laughs> but there, there's there's a guy in there we'll have to like deal with him at some point maybe we can do it from the outside i'm kind of hoping if i just walk this way because i need some food as well food is a big issue if we just keep walking this way we should hopefully find some more food and maybe he'll despawn maybe i'm kind of hoping uh, hoping for this here uh, that would be so amazing if we could uh, i'm not sure how many oh i broke some golden rod there that's not great uh, i'm not sure how many clay we get per block it looks to be like three or four i'm hoping that is the standard four okay that's 42 bits of clay ah oh, the hunger has hit 
There we go. This is hard. Okay, let's try going around here. We see a little confusion creeper over there. We've got some spiders. I'm not expecting to find great food anywhere. What I'm really expecting is to find that like people have come along and picked this place dry. That said, look, here's a copper nugget. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's brilliant. Oh, in fact, there's loads of copper nuggets here. Okay, I will be coming back for some of this copper nugget. Uh, I just really need to try and find myself some food whilst also giving the other guys some chance to despawn. Uh, I'm not seeing wonders, though. I am not seeing wonders. I don't think we can make food out of this uh, golden rod, unfortunately. Oh, look, there's a guy with a knife. We're going to avoid him. No one wants to get stabbed up this early in the game. Um, jumping up and down these sides might not be great. I'm not sure if the smart move is less intensive on the food or not. Is that all the stuff up and in my inventory? Good, good, good. Okay, yeah, let's let's head back and see if he's despawned. He's not despawned. Okay, so what are we going to do about that? Maybe, maybe what we can do is take out those wood chunks that I've put through and make an attack from the side here. I think that's pretty much the only way we're going to be able to do stuff, right? Let's have a look. Oh man, that that fatigue coming from the from the hunger is just a little strong, isn't it? Okay, we can hear him there. Oh hey, oh look, even even the uh, the head is in the way in just the right manner. Oh, I can't crouch. I can crouch. Am I doing anywhere near enough health? I'm not. Look, we've done less than a couple of hundred health already. Uh, this is going to take a while. All right, I might bring you back when this actually is a thing that's done. And boom! Turns out the axe is a slightly better weapon than that little knife I was having at him with. But that kind of makes sense, right? I know I'd rather be stabbed than have a limb hacked off. Oh, actually, I don't know. It depends where I get stabbed. Um, but I know which weapon I'd rather be attacked with. Oh, look, we've got a quarter of a heart, some raw meat. Maybe we can cook that up. We've got some other steam pipes and things like that. Really looking forward to getting into the steam business, but that's obviously quite a way off. Let's uh, light this fire up. Where's my fire starter? There we go. We're already halfway through it. Amazing. Uh, and then I'm going to put this raw meat into cook. No, is this not how it works? Do you, not, do you not like cooking meat? Is, is this what I'm hearing here? This is kind of what I'm hearing here. Okay, so we've got some pottery down here. It's going to take me seven hours to get the, the rest of the pottery cooked. This is very bad. Can I just eat this raw meat? I can't just eat this raw meat. Let's have a look and see what uses there are for it. We can make a quarter of a heart out of it or some blood block. That's fine. I've uh, figured that out. Raw meat will kind of turn into meat steak if we cook it uh, in the smeltery. Unfortunately, we don't have... Well, not a smeltery, a... Uh, what's the other thing called? Furnace. Unfortunately, we don't have a furnace, and I'm literally about to have the worst time because of it. Um, let's go see if there's any... There's no... There's no farms here. Okay, let's see about peaches. How do we... How do we get these peach? Oh, look, another quarter heart. This might be good, as I appear to be in severe danger of dying soon. I mean, how hungry do you have to be until it becomes an actual problem? Uh, oh, rotten flesh you can eat. Did you see me starting to put it towards my face? No? No, okay, must have been a mistake then. Uh, okay, let's have a look at these. Does attacking them with the stone knife do you a peach? I don't, I don't think so. Um, we've got to wait till early autumn, really. No, that's a shame. Okay, I really was kind of hoping we would be able to do something about that. Okay, well, we're, all we've got to do then is try and get these um, pottery quests done. Which is going to be a pain. It's got, to be, got to be honest, it's going to be a pain. We've got to make three of those. That's going to be a bit long. That's going to be a bit long. Okay, so there's three of those. Let's clear all this off and put this here because maybe we can get these going pretty fast and then it'll all be good, right? Uh, are these go Oh, shift click. That's what's going wrong here. I was like, oh, is the server lagging again? No, of course the server's not lagging again. I'm just being a bit of a bit of an idiot. This happens occasionally, though. This does happen occasionally. Okay, we can put one of these bowls in here as well. If we could just do... Yeah, that'll do. Why not? Let's get in the pit as well. <laughs> uh, and then cook these jugs up. Okay, now, it was long L here, short L at the bottom. Okay, we've just got to do that a few more times. And that's three, so if we can put these in the, in the hole as well. I'm not sure how many... What's the word I'm looking for? How many straw I need for each one here? Let's find out. 
Uh, please tell me we've got eight left. Perfect. Almost as if I had planned it out. I hadn't. I should probably point that out. I, I don't plan stuff out. How many logs does it take? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Of course it takes eight. Let's go out and cut down some trees. I think in these ones up here, we can also go around and break stuff down. The lack of food is really starting to get to me. I'm wondering how long it's going to be until... Oh, I am... Oh, did I break my jug by drinking it? Oh, man, that's that's rubbish. That is rubbish. Well, I was not aware that that was a, a problem that could happen. It was something that I've never encountered in my single player. But now that I think about it, of course you can break your jugs at some point. Um, okay, let's try and rip down these trees and get some sticks and leaves and, and it's not leaves it's sticks and saplings i am having the worst time with food though the worst time well that got boring so i'm now gonna just cut down this tree i am looking for eight nine logs i think it's nine logs that we need eight for the uh pit that we want to start and one for the one that we've already started i throw in inverted commas because obviously it's not really started and if we could just get this this quest done, I think that will make a beautiful start. Ah, oh, I hate it when it does this. It's like, no, actually, your axe doesn't have enough durability to take down all the logs that you just tried chopping down. I was like, really? Why couldn't you tell me that at the beginning? I should have noticed, obviously, that this could be something that like, I, as a player, um, am aware of. But pfft, noticing things? I'm not, I'm not that man. I'm just not that man. Okay, is this going to break finally? Okay, maybe we can do something with all this stuff. I just kind of ran down the wrong edge by accident. Uh, let's go this way instead. That, that lack of food. I mean, I'm watching my health go... I don't know. Did my health just go up? But I'm watching that max go down. Oh, man. that That is how you lose a lot of health quickly. Uh, if you ever wanted to know, yeah, just just jump off a cliff. That That will work perfectly for you. I'm going to chop this tree down as well. I feel bad for the absolute devastation I am causing in this area, but I just need the wood, man. I just need that wood. Okay, that's wood gathered. Let's get in here and throw it down in the important places. We can pop an extra one there if it will take it brilliantly, and we'll put some more here. You guys could probably do with a little bit of light. I did I did get a few extra bits of logs so we could do this. Because that, that's important, right? It's important that we can all see what's going on here. I hope you can see. I know my screen can be quite dark. I have turned up the uh, the light levels, of course, from moody to bright. And with the two fires... Oh, man. Why could these things never just work for me? I was going to be like, oh, here's, here's an, ex uh, an outro. But no. Instead, I need to try and make one of these fire starter businesses and, and relight this thing again. Woo wee! And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this first adventure on Terra Firma Craft Punk. It's not Terra Firma Craft Punk. I keep trying to say that. It's Terra Firma Punk. Uh, I will see you next time when we're going to try and deal with this like ridiculous food issue. Hopefully, the contents of those two pits back there will do me. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? I have made a terrible, terrible mistake. I'm going to have to sit here and watch this all night. But anyway, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!